given question determine the reactions develop in simply supported beam let us understand the given diagram it is simply supported beam at end a it is hinged so we will show the reaction so it can rotate about the end a so reaction can be in any direction so we will show it's a component so for vertical component we will write here as a va and for horizontal component we will write here as a ha so we have to find out the components horizontal component as well as vertical component now at end b roller support is given and this roller is placed on the horizontal surface so at end b the action is in the vertical direction so we will show the reaction is rb and its direction is vertical now if we observe there is 20 newton and 40 newton force which which is acting in vertically downward direction now its a distance is also given from end a so for 20 newton it is 4 meter and for 40 newton it is 4 plus 4 that is 8 newton now if we observe this diagram then here no any horizontal force is given. So this HA to balance this horizontal component no any horizontal force is in the system. So this HA value is equal to 0. So there is only vertical component at end A. So we will write here this reaction at point A is RA. And now we have to find out this RA value as well as RB value. So we are going to use the virtual work method. And we are going to apply principle of virtual displacement. So what is the meaning of virtual displacement? So we have to give very small displacement at end B. And in second case we have to give very small displacement at end A. Now when we give very small displacement at end B in vertical direction. So in vertical direction we will say here delta Y. So I will write here this, this is the original position of B and here is the final position of B. So I will write here there is a B dash. So this small displacement is given as a delta Y. And at end A it it is at its original position. So here displacement is 0. Now we have to find out displacement for 20 Newton as well as 40 Newton. So I will show here the line. So we have to find out these two displacement. So how to find out? Now if we observe this diagram from A to B total distance is 4 plus 4 plus 4. That is for 12 meter. The displacement given is delta y. Now this 40 newton is placed 4 plus 4 because we have to uh, measure this distance from end A because at end A it is 0. So for at a distance of 8 meter here is the question mark. And then for 20 newton also at a distance of 4 meter. Here is the question mark. So we have to find out the values at the question mark. So suppose we will consider here as a x unknown value as x. Then 12 into x is equal to dy into 8. So I will write here 12x is equal to 8 dy. So x is equal to 8 divided by 12 dy. So we have to write this value of x here. So it is 8 divided by 12. So how to simplify this? So when we simplify this, it will get 2 by 3 delta y. Delta y. Now in the same way, here also question mark. So 12x is equal to 4 delta y. So value of x is equal to, we can write here as a 12 by 4. Uh, 4 by 12. So I will write here uh, 4 12 x is equal to 4 delta y. So x is equal to 4 by 12 delta y. So 4 by 12 that is 1 by 3 delta y. So this is the displacement at 20 newton and 40 newton force. So we will show here this force 20 
newton and here is 40 newton in the downward direction. Now we will move to the next. Now in second case we have to give displacement at end A and at end B it is 0. So I will write here displacement is 0 and here at end A this is the original position and here is the final position A dash. Now this displacement we will write here because it is in vertical direction delta y dash. Now again we have to find out the values for 20 newton as well as 40 newton. So I will show here the lines. Now again we will apply the same method. Now from end B to end A distance is 12 meter. So for 12 meter displacement is delta y dash. Now this 20 newton is placed is above from end B because here displacement is 0 for 8 meter. So for 8 meter here is the question mark. So we can say that 12x is equal to 8 delta y dash. So x is equal to 8 by 12. So 8 by 12 that is 2 by 3 delta y dash. Now in the same way for 40 newton we have to take from b dash. So from this b it is 4 meter. So for, for 4 here is the question mark. So again 4 into Delta y dash is equal to 12 into x. So x is equal to 4 by 12 that is 1 by 3 delta y dash. When we apply virtual work method sign convention is important part. Now if we observe the force as well as displacement then we will decide it's a sign. So the direction of force which is in the upward direction just like RA and RB we will use positive sign. So I will write here it is positive and the direction of force in the downward direction we will show here the sign is negative. Now in the same way for the displacement. So this is the original position of the beam. So when the displacement is in the upward direction we will use the positive sign. So if we observe this delta y displacement is in the upward direction. And for delta y dash also displacement is in the upward direction from the original position. So we will take positive sign for delta y as well as for delta y dash. Now we will apply virtual work method. So here we have to write the value of work at each point. So what is the work? So work that means force multiplied by displacement. So we have to understand this term with the solution. So by applying virtual work method. So we will apply for this diagram. So at end A it's a value is that is I will show here reactions are A as well as R B. At end A R A multiplied by 0. So we will write here R A into 0. Now the next is 20. So 20 is in downward direction. So we will take minus 20 into 1 by 3 delta Y. Then next minus 40 into 2 by 3 delta y and next rb into delta y. So here we have to take rb with positive sign because of its upward direction. So plus rb into delta y is equal to 0. Now if we observe there is only one unknown term rb. Now when we simplify this we have to take delta y as a common term. So minus 20 by 3 minus 80 by 3 plus rb bracket complete delta y is equal to 0 and therefore rb is equal to 33.3 newton. So here we have taken the unit as a newton so we have to repeat the same unit. Now we will move to the next. So again delta y dash displacement is given at the end A. Now at end B it is 0. Now we will show here the reaction at A that is ra and here is rb. Now again we will apply the virtual work method. So we have to write the work done at each point. So here is 20 
न्यूटन एंड हियर इज फोर्टी न्यूटन नाउ वी विल मूव फॉर ए सो एट एंड ए इट इज इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो प्लस आर ए इंटू डेल्टा वाई डैश देन माइनस ट्वेंटी इंटू टू बाय थ्री डेल्टा वाई डैश माइनस फोर्टी इंटू वन बाय थ्री डेल्टा वाई डैश प्लस आर बी इंटू जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी विल टेक डेल्टा वाई डैश एज अ कॉमन टर्म एंड हियर इन ब्रैकेट आर ए माइनस फोर्टी बाय थ्री माइनस फोर्टी बाय थ्री डेल्टा वाई डैश इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इफ वी ऑब्जर्व दिस डेल्टा वाई एंड डेल्टा वाई डैश इज वेरी स्मॉल डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो दिस डेल्टा वाई विच इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा वाई डैश शुड नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इज वेरी स्मॉल डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो वी कैन ट्रांसफर दिस टर्म टू द राइट हैंड साइड एंड देर फोर दिस दिस टर्म If we transfer to the right hand side, then it will become zero. So one unknown term R A is equal to twenty six point six newton. Now we will move to the next question. 